One of Diddy's accusers, right, say Combs used oil and a knife. Like, they just going real far with some of these stories, man. It's just making it harder and harder to believe. Not sh I'm not saying that it's not true. I said it's hard to believe. <laughs> some shit could be true and hard to believe at the same time. You can know something true. You could witness it with your own eyes, and you could be like, yeah, this, some this shit is hard to believe. If I go and tell the world this shit, it'd be hard to believe. You know, this shit just hard to believe. So I ain't trying to, I ain't just trying to say everybody lying, but a bunch of these motherfuckers lying. Yeah. Anyway, hit the like button, y'all. Let's see what this lawyer right here got to say. So we got one of Diddy's accusers lawyer speaking on News Nation. Let's get up into it. IG, if you're just tuning in, jump on over to YouTube, Facebook, or Twitch. That way you can see these videos that I got playing up on the screen. Yell that you've got this client, um, you plan to file the suit this week. There hasn't been um, a lot of detail about it, but I think you can reveal a little more tonight about e exactly what your client says Diddy did to her. Tell, tell us a little more if you can, even though the suit's not officially been filed. Yes, I'll have the suit filed uh, sometime this week, probably in the next couple of days. Um, it's just in editing right now, just to get the final touches on it, just to make sure we haven't missed any causes of action. I think as it stands right now, we're at 19 causes of actions from sexual assault, sexual battery, of course, RICO uh, charges and uh, sex trafficking. But essentially, my client was raped by Mr. Combs, his bodyguard and a friend who invited my client to his home to set up this whole situation. IG, if you just tuning in, I'm playing a video up right now, and you ain't gonna be able to see or hear what's going on because the video is playing in my headphones. I'm just on IG to let y'all know that I'm live on these other platforms, which is YouTube, Facebook, and Twitch. So I'm gonna need you to jump on over there quickly, expeditiously, because I will be shutting this live down here momentarily. It the details are graphic in nature. And the complaint lays out all of the details in the graphic, just deplorable way my client was victimized in that day or in that night, rather. And her harrowing escape and how she was able to finally get away and manage to get to safety after the gruesome attack. Yeah, and I know that the details are graphic and I, I want to be careful. Um, but can you talk a little bit about the baby oil? Because... <laughs> I think people want to know about that baby oil. oil, but you are claiming that there may be something else in that, correct? Yes. Yeah, so <clears throat> in, in the suit, there is a part where uh, Mr. Combs is threatening her with a knife and makes her take off her clothes. And then he takes uh, what she believes is some type of liquid substance out of a bag, out of a fanny pack, to be specific. And mm -hmm. he squirts it at her, and she originally thought it was like acid or something, but then she realized that it was some type of lubricant or oil. She actually didn't specify even baby oil. She just said <sighs> she just started squirting it at her, squirting it all over her body, and then this just sounds like a bunch of bullshit to me, man. Like, come on now, come on now. Like, how many of y'all? Let's be a thousand have seen some adult videos and they got this baby oil and they squirting it all on the asses. Come on now. Like, let's be real. Oh, I seen him squirting some lubricant. Uh, I see him squirting some, uh, 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 a liquid at me and I thought it was acid or something, but then I realized it was some type of lubricant, man, get out of here. What are you doing up in there? If you worried about some acid being thrown on you, why did you allow yourself to get in this type of position? And you grown as hell. You grown in the up, and you out here talking about somebody held you hostage. I'm not buying it, bro. I'm just not buying it. This is a money grab. Everybody coming out the woodworks. Then this little boy was however young he was. Where the hell his parents at? Where the hell is his parents at? Because my kids is not finna be just out here willy-nilly. I don't give a damn how much money you got. Give a damn how much money you got. And I do understand people will sell their kids. They will sell their soul for a jelly roll out here. So I understand there's some people like that. But people with good sense, 
I ain't going to do that. And even if you do, why these parents ain't being held accountable? Why would you allow your kid to be... This shit just... Are we really having this discussion about Diddy and some baby oil and some freak offs? <clears throat> do you know this is the age old tale? They've been saying shit like this since the beginning. Oh, the black man is going to rape the black, um, the white woman. We're going to have to hang him, cut his nuts off and do all this type of other shit. They've been saying this to, to make a mockery out of the black man for years. And I am not saying that black men are, are 100% innocent out here. No, no, because I do know there are some situations, but I'm saying this shit is the age old tale. We need to be thinking with our thinking caps and, and looking at this shit instead of just making a mockery of it. Like, oh, oh, it's crazy. It's crazy. This every time, every story that I hear from each one of these accusers, I, I, I try to have an open mind and listen. But the stories just ain't adding up to me. <laughs> you know, I mean, the evidence is going to come out at some point. All the evidence is going to come out. And maybe I have a change of heart. If Diddy is is, is really uh, found guilty and he's guilty, you know, shit, hold his ass accountable. But hold everybody else accountable, too, because he ain't the only one. With them big ass execs, them white execs, all, everybody. Everybody, you know what I'm saying? We're gonna have to get everybody, your favorite artist too, whoever that is. Yeah, we don't show no favoritism. But anyway, let's continue with the with the video. IG, jump on over to YouTube, Facebook, Twitch, because shit, we cooking over here. And um that's when after she was covered in this oil, that's when the attack began with Mr. Combs and then the friend, and then in between the two of them. She was squirted some more with this oil. <laughs> okay, so just make it make sense. You are already in a situation or in a setting where somebody is squirting some baby oil on you. You didn't say, hey, stop it. No, I don't want to. Get back. Uh-uh. Let me leave. You just go on, go along with it. And he proceeds to do whatever he wants to do. He or they, however many it was, you let this happen. Did you try to fight them off? You say they attacked you and RAP'd you, but did they? Because RAP could just mean you didn't want it. But did you verbalize that? Did you say that? Did you have that type of body language? Or did you consent to it like an adult do? You see what I'm saying? And since whatever situation didn't work out for you, now all of a sudden, okay, let me let me go after him. Let me undermine him. Or since everybody else getting the bag off of it, and you ain't even had no situation with him at all, you just gonna go after the bag and make up some shit. I don't know, man. I didn't seen it happen too many times. It's a pattern. When I, I I'm the type of person I'm analytical. When I get to seeing shit, especially a pattern or something, I mean I'm paying attention to that. Even when you're doing stocks and trades. You see a pattern. You 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 looking at patterns. I'm looking at this pattern. There's it's a pattern of them doing this shit to rich, powerful black men. They're just black men, period. You know what I'm saying? It's this is a history of this. You know, and hey. then the bodyguard then attacks her and raped her as well. But she said over the course of this, her body got more and more limp, and she couldn't mm. figure out essentially what was causing it. Because it wasn't as if she was um, forced any drug. She said she had a cup of water that she took a sip of. And uh, she knew immediately it wasn't just water, but she only took a sip. And she felt that whatever the liquid was being squirted on her had something in it, which uh, essentially debilitated her and her faculties. Mm. Yeah, that's what I was going to ask you. I mean, because in, in the complaint, the Fed's complaint, they talk about all of those bottles of body oil. So we... We knew there was a lot of lubricant, but is there, do you have any idea what may have been in it? Is there something that could have been in it that would have made it so she couldn't move? So I've done some internal research after I had my intake with my client, and it seems that oil in general is used as a conduit for specific drugs, like for instance, GHB. So in order to get that to uh, topically take 
into somebody's body, you need a conduit, which is typically oil. So it seems to me that mm. there were some types of drugs mixed into the oil, which is why he was dousing her in that oil prior, not only to. That's not the only reason why he was dousing her or could be the only reason. It could just be people like shiny oily asses when they do when they do. <laughs> people like to bump and glide and slide, you know what I'm talking about? <laughs> but uh, to be fair and to play the devil's advocate, I, ha I think I have heard some interviews of people who participated who was whip diddy saying that some of them drinks was laced uh i can't say who it was or where i seen it at, but i want to say i did see somebody who was like of diddy's entourage saying that some of those drinks may have been uh laced so who knows who knows that's one thing i don't agree with if you're gonna lace some shit man that's foul that's foul as fuck, you know. We don't want none of that. Let me know what I'm consuming so I can make a choice. But everybody else who made a choice and participated in, in these sexual acts, these parties, these freak offs, or whatever you want to call it, and whatever else, I mean, damn, y'all participated in it. You chose to be there. You a grown ass person, you know. But I digress. To make it easier to assault her. But that was what was lowering her defenses. They like Biden. Gosh, it's, it's so disturbing. Um, 120 people uh, now uh, we hear are going to be filing lawsuits. We've heard that from another attorney. Do you know yet, are there similarities with some of these other stories, especially in terms of this, this oil component? Well, unfortunately, we haven't seen any or heard anything about any of the alleged 120 of victims that another attorney has. In fact, I think recently today he came out and started saying some of these celebrities have began, the other celebrities he planned to name were settling the cases, which I thought was odd yeah. because I do settlements all the time. And part of the settlement is that you don't discuss the settlement. You know, part of Fight Club is you don't talk about Fight Club. So unfortunately, I, mm. I don't know how many of these cases the 120 cases that that lawyer has will ever see the light of day. I always was skeptical about the number and the types of claims that were being advanced. But um, I haven't personally, yeah. I haven't seen any other cases advanced that made uh, similar allegations other than the federal government's case. Thanks for watching. Okay. Well, that it is. You know, would one person start lying, like the Thalia Graves person allegedly, and her boyfriend coming out and poking holes in her story and saying that, you know, uh, I was bribed for $3 million to go along with her story. When one person like that start doing it, it makes you question everybody else. It's like, mm. so it may be some real victims out here that's going to get that side eye because people like that Thalia Graves wanks out here making up stories, fabricating shit. You know what I'm saying? That shit ain't cool. That shit ain't cool at all. People like that need to be charged. And they, they don't have no laws out here uh, convicting these people out here with these false allegations. You know, other than a person can sue for defamation and stuff like that. I mean... That's wild. That's wild business. It's wild business right there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But uh, yeah, IG. Uh, I'm finna go ahead and shut this down. I'm gonna need y'all to jump over to YouTube, Facebook, or Twitch to jump in and continue on with the conversation. You feel me? I appreciate y'all. But uh, yeah, I got videos that I'm gonna be playing up on the screen, and y'all not gonna be able to experience that here on IG. I'm going to need y'all to jump over on the other platforms, follow up in line. Appreciate y'all. And I'm going to slide out.